Hey there, my friend. How you doing? It's Chris here. Chris and Gia here from ChrisandGia.com. Back again with you. And in this very exciting episode, we're going to talk about AWeber email marketing, okay? So in this series, we're talking about uh, setting up your AWeber and how to get the most out of it, right, for your email marketing campaigns. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about specifically how to send your first AWeber email broadcast, all right? So if you haven't already, definitely give the video a like, all right? Definitely subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I release the next videos on email marketing, AWeber, and how to get the best out of AWeber. So without further ado, let's get down right to it. All right, so we're going to be talking about how to set up or send your first AWeber email broadcast, right? So if you don't know, a broadcast essentially is just you sending a message to your email subscribers on your list, all right? That's it. So you're just sending a message to the whole list, or you can set up, send it to a partial group of your list, and I'll show you what that means in a quick bit. So first thing we'll do is we're going to go to messages, right? Now, for me, I like to go to drafts because that's where I've created a whole bunch of messages already. And I usually will like edit those drafts to resend a new message. But because in this list, we don't have any drafts right now. In fact, I just click on it right now. You see what it looks like, right? And it says, oh, you don't have any messages, all right? So we haven't created any. So there's none here. So we can just create a brand new one, all right? And so broadcast is that's sending a broadcast but first before we can do that we have to create a message so you come over here in this green green button and you can say hey create a create a message so now you can do a drag and drop email builder where they use templates I personally don't use that very much I generally just use like a plain text message well actually you know what I've, I've been here so I've been doing it the shortcut way for so long I'm not even really sure so let's see da, 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 da. Oh, okay yeah you know what this is the one yeah so that was basically this is basically what I use so it allows you to like kind of drag different things into your email message right so if you want to include a headline you can and all you gotta do is just drag that put that here and if you put that there so let's say this is our health and tips and tricks one maybe our headline is you know uh, for secrets to uh, to eating healthier without dieting. Ooh, like that, huh? I just came up with that one too off the top of my head, you know? <laughs> so you can do that. And then you simply would just start writing your message. So now here's a cool thing. So here's one thing you gotta remember. So here's your headline. To be honest, I generally don't use this. This would probably be what I would take copy this and I put this here in the subject line right so that's where you got to put that so you definitely want to put something in your subject line if you want the headline heading you can if you don't you can end up just coming here and deleting it right so just delete it all right so you can put but you can put anything you want here if you have an image that you want to it put you can drag or drag it here and put it you have a video you can drag it here and put it there so there's a lot of different uh, options that you can do right and so if you have a product, coupon, logo, signature, anything you can put, just drag it in here. So I, it's pretty cool. So then essentially what you would do is just create a create your message here and and you know, and then that would be your message that you would send to your list. So give me a moment, let me come up with a few knickknacks, something I'm gonna put on here real quick. All right. So hold on real quick. All right, so I came up with a quick bit of lines here for the email message. All right. So essentially I just said, hey. Hi, first name. So you'll notice these right here, these little bracket things, and then it has like first name fixed. It's basically a little piece of code that will that you put in your emails that will allow you the AWeber to substitute that for the name of the e for the subscriber in on your list. So if I have somebody named James Jones on my list, when I send this email and it goes to a bunch of people on the list, when James Jones gets this version of the email, it's gonna have his name on here instead of anybody else's name if that makes sense all right and so if you want to get that and get that you can kind of get that right here so I come up here to personalize to the headline and you can get the subscribers info subscriber location and things like that so you can kind of like add that in there all right so let's see yeah and full name first name last name email address whatever you want and you can put that in there and you just click on it and it'll do it just like that and you can take that and put it anywhere you want so 
I just said, hey, have you been wanting to lose weight and eat healthier, but you hate having a diet? I know how you feel. Staying healthy isn't easy. And who can keep up with all these crazy diets? But I actually created this really cool video that will show you how to eat healthy without ever having to worry about sticking to diets ever again. Check out the video here. If you like it, be sure to like, comment, and share, Chris. All right? So we're sending a nice little e uh, message to our list of value that's going to help them, right? So the first thing is, is once you've written your message out and got it the way that you want it, right, be sure that you include all your links. So the way you want to do that is, like, let's say I said check out the video here, right? Obviously, I'm probably going to send them to, like, a YouTube video or a Facebook Live or something like that. So then what you want to do is come up here to where it said we have this little icon here. And if you hover over, it says link. If you click on it, it'll bring this up. And basically, you can just put in whatever the, the URL of that link is. So if it's a YouTube video, then you'll just copy and paste that YouTube link here. I don't have a video for this, so I'm not going to put this. But that's that's where, how you would do it, all right? And then, oh, yeah, I know you're, you're out. So I said, okay, cancel. So then that's what you would do. So then once that's done and you have all the things that you wanted to do, you know, you put maybe you put some, you know, social media stuff underneath here, you know. If you want them to follow you on your Facebook or Twitter, you can do any of these things here. You know, once you've done that and everything looks looks the way that you want it, then all you can do is come here, down here, and say save and exit, all right? So the nice thing you'll notice here is that AWeber will automatically save the messages for you after every two minutes, which is pretty awesome. So, and then you come out here and save and exit, and... Yeah, here it is. Here's your message, right? So let me kind of just come on a little bit. Okay. And so here's your message. So your, your message is here, right? And you can see the preview of it right here, right? And so now you're ready to send your first broadcast. Now, on this list, I don't have any subscribers. So when, I don't know if it'll let me do it, but I'm going to just show you the process anyway. So so let's say now you're ready to send, then you will come here to where it says send options, right? And you click on it and you're gonna see three options. It's gonna say send a test email, schedule a broadcast, or add to follow-up series, right? And so what we wanna do is schedule a broadcast. We wanna email this message to our list of subscribers that is on this list, health tips and tricks, right? So we're gonna hit schedule a broadcast. Once you do that, it's gonna come up with this uh, these list these list of settings. Let me move me out the way a little bit here. Uh, yeah, that's good. All right. So, so you're gonna come up with this message, and you're gonna see you're gonna see this screen here. So it's gonna say, "Hey, do you want to share this message?" And if you do, then you can, right? For example, hey, if I do, I can just click on this button here. It says edit, and it'll allow me to come here and and share it like to uh to uh, you know you can get the link to share it to your to, to any of you to your blog or if you want you can just come down here and share it on your social media stuff so right now I have Twitter and I can just hit it click this here it'll take it to my Twitter because I already already have it linked I had already included it all right and if you don't you can always just connect to a new account here right and then you can just come here and say apply and it'll share it to Twitter right and then I'll ask you who should receive this message current list health tips and tricks and then all you can set to a different segment. So if you click on the edit, right, it'll allow you to see a segment of your list, right? So I didn't include any, any, any there's no list segments on this list, but if you want it, you can include it to send to all the lists that you have, right? Or you can exclude certain lists, right? So it just allows you to give, gives you more options, right? So we're gonna cancel that in terms of who you send them to and you don't, who you don't want to send it to. And then you can, then it can still ask you when should you send this message. You can send it immediately, or if you want, you come here and edit. You can actually schedule the time that you want to send it. You know, if you want to send it, you know, Monday morning, you can click on that. And it'll bring up the time here. Maybe I just want to send it at 8, you know, 35 in the morning. Well, then it will do that. Make sure the time zone is correct. And then you can sit, hit apply, right? And it will schedule a message for Monday, June 4th at that more at that time, right? And then here is do you want some automations? I'm not really gonna get into this too much, but essentially it's gonna, it's just asking you, do you want them to like, okay, we can click on it here. Right? So it's going to say, hey, if a subscriber opens this message, then you can tag them. You can tag that particular subscriber if they open their message. And that allows you to segment your list a little bit more, more so that you can kind of direct your messages to certain types of people. So that's essentially what it is. right? So I'll cancel that. 
And then if you want, you can track the clicks on your website links in this message, right? And click automations require click tracking. So if you want to track the clicks, you can do that. Um, I usually just keep it on. And then email me when quick stats are available. I usually click this off because I don't want I don't want them emailing me every time I send an email message. Now that we're done, we got all the settings set up. We can simply just hit this green button that says, hey, schedule the message for whatever time you want to send it, right? When you hit that, it'll automatically say success, saving your settings, all right? And then you'll have this message that's scheduled to be sent. Now, if you wanted to send it immediately, you could have just went back and canceled it before you sent it and then went back to hit send again and then just send now, right? It would ask you, hey, do you want to send this? Are you sure? You click yes and it will automatically send it. And so if we want, we can unschedule this one and it's been returned to drafts, right? So if you don't want to send it, you decide, hey, you know what? I want to send it sooner than this. You can go back to your drafts view, right? Here it is. Send, get back to send options, schedule the broadcast, right? We still wanted to do the Twitter, so we'll put that here, we'll say apply. We're not messing it with anything here. We're gonna send it immediately. You want any automations? No, unclick email me when quick stats are available. And you can say, hey, send message now. And if you send that, it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna send this broadcast? You cannot undo this action. And then you can say, yes, send now, right? Um, I'm not gonna send it because I don't have any subscribers to send it to, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> But that would be it. And then once you've done it, then you would have sent your first email broadcast. Congratulations. So that's it, my friend. Hope you enjoyed it. Now you know exactly how to send and your first email broadcast messages using AWeber, which are in your email marketing campaign. Hope this was helpful. If it did, hey, definitely give the video a like, all right? Definitely subscribe to the channel. And oh, by the way, if you want to learn some of the tips and tricks on how to take your email marketing to the next level, level then you might want to check out my friend, Miss Diane, who's coming with a really great train on how you can twist your list around, get more leads and sales off of your subscriber list, even if you have a very low number of leads and, li and list subscribers, all right? And if that's of interest, then hey, definitely check out the link, get more information on that, all right? So that's it, my friend. This video has been on AWeber email marketing. Marketing. It's been an AWeber tutorial, how to send your first email, AWeber email broadcast message. So until next time, be blessed, stay hungry. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.